Hello, and Merry Christmas. My name is Ian Beatty. 2020, huh? If there's one thing I've learned from this year, it's not to take anything for granted. The health and longevity of my family members, the stability of our democracy, my daily routine of dropping the kids at school and going to work, haircuts, being able to leave the house at all, being able to buy toilet paper, but I'm one of the lucky ones. I still have a job and a house and toilet paper. One thing I do continue to take for granted is this. I can turn on the tap and take a drink or a shower. And I can pretty much assume that the water won't kill me. You know where I'm going with this, right? Bear with me, please. I'd like to show you something. Here on the map in East Africa, over on the north edge of Ethiopia, just below the Eritrean border, is a village named Gramashalu. About 200 people live there. As you can see from the satellite photo, it's close to the north edge of the Sahel, the semi-arid strip, semi-fertile strip, I should say, that runs east-west across the width of Africa, just below the Sahara Desert. Let's zoom in. That's all we've got. It's not really that close to the Sahel, not close enough anyway. No green, no lakes, no rivers, no streams. There's really very little here, but rocky brown desert and a whole lot of dust. Water is something that the people who live here certainly do not take for granted. Well, at least they didn't. And then about 10 years ago, something happened on the other side of the world. A physics professor from Massachusetts and a violinist from all over, both moved to Greensboro, ran into each other, fell in love and married right here in the College Park Chapel. Instead of wedding presents, they asked their friends to donate to an organization called Charity Water. Their friends came through big time. So now, if you, if you should travel to Gramashalu, you would encounter this. It doesn't look like much, but behind that corrugated metal door is something wondrous. Water you can take for granted. If you were to walk in, look really close, and wipe off some dust, you might see this. Giram Shalu, that's another name for Grama Shalu. Shallow Borehole, funded by Charity Water. Marjorie Bagley and Ian Beatty, married 5 March, 2011. Because of a choice that Marjorie and I and our friends made about a decade ago, 200 people didn't have to worry about what they were going to drink in 2012, or in 2013, or in 2014, or even in 2020. With a little luck, they won't have to worry for decades into the future either. I like gifts that keep on giving, don't you? If you have donated to College Park's Christmas fundraiser for Charity Water any time in the last few years, you have also given a gift that keeps on giving. I hope you find joy in knowing that someone out there somewhere has safe water because of you, year after year after year. No matter how sucky your 2020 may have been, I guarantee it was much, much suckier for someone who had to walk miles every day carrying water jugs or cook with water containing arsenic. Let's put an end to that, shall we? Year after year after year. Thank you.